Hello everyone and welcome. This is Wolrig and we are on episode 10 of Anti-Material Energy. 10 episodes. I never thought I would get this far. I'll be honest, this was a bit of a long shot for me to sit down and actually do this on a regular basis. But I'm glad I got here. Anyway, episode 10, more power. Um, I needed lots of power, I suddenly realized. So I know at the end of last episode I was saying how this was so great and I don't need to do anything with it and then I realized I need a lot more power. So I added this vat, which is making rocket fuel. And rocket fuel gives me 160 RF per tick rather than just 60 RF per tick. So these four add together gives me 640, which is the maximum um, maximum usage or maximum throughput of the uh, basic energy conduits I have there. And the main reason for that is because I've been trying to make this Omnimatter, and each one of these takes 500,000 RF. I have literally spent five hours and gotten this much of these different matters. I don't even have enough to make one yet. I'm close on a couple, but it is it has been a daunting task. So, um, I'm going to kind of abandon that task for now. So these are going to stay unresolved, but I didn't want to leave you completely empty-handed. I went ahead and finished all of the aura crystals. And let's just have some chaos for a second. Oops. So, aura crystals. This was pretty easy. This was just the white aura crystals surrounded by whatever color. And the beautiful thing here is that these crystals have EMC value, so I've already gone ahead and taught my tablet how to make them. So today, I think that is a good way of transitioning and saying that, you know what, I'm done with alchemy for a while. I think I've done about as much as I want to in it until I figure out some other way to make those Omnimatter items without just grinding my face off. Um, so today, I think a blood moon is rising. Let's go ahead and sleep and get rid of that. Not nighttime yet. Um, we're going to do the Aura Cascade. Because I've been looking into this and realizing that there's a lot of things that I can do with Aura Cascade. So I should probably progress a little bit further into it. I am going to, there we go, just sleep through this blood moon. You guys don't want to see my screen turn all red. Uh, the blood moon is part of the random things mod. Um, the idea is that the night becomes very violent. The mobs, if they spawn, which we have very few places they can, uh, the mobs are extra aggressive during a blood moon. So it's a neat mechanic. I don't really care about it right now. So the next thing we need to make, I looked at this, this conserving node um, that requires blue ingots which requires a processor. So, I think processor is where we need to start. If we look for our cascading processor, it is actually very simple. So I need four furnaces. And I should have quite a few or, oh yeah, so we'll just put these guys in. And there we go. Like that, we have a processor. Now what I should be able to do, because I'm not going to use this furnace anymore, I should just be able to break the furnace and place the processor. Perfect. So now the, the way this processor works, 
Let's see if I can find it here. The cascading processor can make two ingots from one ore, and it can create arcane ingots and arcane prisms. Oh. The arcade, or the aura crusade, it has its own quest line, um, which is actually kind of handy because it does give me items then. So, for example, I can take this blue ore, and I think I just throw it there. Looks like it's working. I don't really know how to tell when I'm going to run out. Time left, 490 seconds. Okay, so a few minutes left on that one single piece of coal that I put in a long, long time ago. Let's see if it tells me anything else. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Finish that. Open the right book. Iron and colored wool. So, arcane blue ingot. Okay, so blue wool and ingot, is that, is that right? I honestly have no idea. I really didn't read ahead at all on this, so I'm just going to, you guys get to watch me fumble all the way through this thing. Uh, two ingots from one ore, and it can create arcane ingots and arcane prisms. Okay, so I think... If I just do like this, well, that gives me iron powder. So if I throw you on, throw you on, does that do it? No, I'm not really sure. We'll see. How many, just one blue ingot. I think this is how I'm supposed to do it. Hey, there we go. So that looks like it did it. Arcane blue ingot. That's a quest complete. Gives me a bunch more wool, which is great. Because I do actually have a wool farm. Or I guess I have wool anyway. Prism. Refracts light at cosine... <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, it's been a while since I took trig. So, prisms, arcane prisms. Arcane prisms are made by combining eight gems of different colors with a cascading processor. They are the third and final tier of material. Okay. Oh, we got a reward bag. Just more, more decorative blocks. Hey, the cascading smeltery, I can... I can learn iron ore. That is, that is handy, actually. That's really cool. I'm going to go ahead and do that, then. Oh, I can't? So it has an exchange value, but I can't learn it. Okay. Well, we'll learn... Learn those colors. So I need eight. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, it's just, it's very fortunate that there is exactly eight. Um, Eight different colors. <laughs> that would have been very unfortunate if there were not eight colors. So the way I understand this is I should basically just throw these out. Oh, get over there. No, no, this is like the worst building mechanic ever. <sighs> I 
I, I get that the mod author is trying to copy Batania, but do they have to be on it? I wonder if I can just throw them next to it. Does that do anything? No. They need to be on the processor. Okay. No, don't pick them up. Please don't pick them up. Stop picking them up. Ah, quit it. <laughs> ah. Okay. It's not doing anything. Hmm. All right. Is that not what I needed to do? Oh, arcane gems. How do I make gems? This is not going well. Arcane gems are the second tier made in a vortex infusion. So I need a vortex infusion. Great. Oh, look, there it is. <laughs> Creates with aura. So, vortex controller. Uh, gold, arcane red, and a diamond. So I need some red. Red wool. Which I don't think I know how to make that. So we'll go ahead and just make some red wool. And teach the tablet. And then what did I need? I needed three, four, five. No, quit it, man. See if I can do them all at once. Maybe. What do we got for time? Still a lot of time. There may be some way to speed this up. I'm sure I'll figure out something along the way. All right. Looks like that was all five of those we needed. The other was three gold and one diamond. So I have those quite easily. Oh yeah, I forgot I got that guy. Vortex controller. Achievement yet? Well, I like to think. And then from there... Oh, that op oh, what did that open up? Oh man, I should have done this a long time ago. <laughs> I think I was kind of supposed to. Um, vortex pedestal holds things. Okay. So let's look at the Vortex Pedestal. That's just an Aura Node surrounded by Lappies. And how many did I need? Four. Okay. So that means I'm going to need... Um, eight times four. Oh, come on. Table's glitching out again. It seems to get confused when I do this kind of stuff. Please work. OK. 
Okay. And what was in the center? Oh, or a node. I th might have some of those already. I do. Perfect. One there. Surrounded by that. It gives us four. More decorative blocks. I don't know if I ever taught it that. I know I've had Tyrion in the past. Nope. I don't. I haven't taught it, but now it knows. So, I have my Vortex pedestal. Bricks of the Traveler. Super. Ooh, that's got some kind of trampoline. Stores items in books. Yeah, I did. I read about this. I don't... I don't understand it. I'll be honest, but I'll figure it out, I'm sure. So, stealing sword. Sword of the thief made from a second degree. Angel steel in infusion. Wow. I'm sure that means something. So, Vortex Infusion. Vortex Infusion is a process for creating many higher level items. Place a Vortex controller. Place the pedestals adjacent to it, following a recipe. Right-click to place correct items on all four pedestals. Then supply it with power. Acts like an aura node. There's those guys. So I can kind of imbue stuff. That's handy. Hmm. Neat. Okay. I thought there was some something that showed me how to actually construct this. Ah, here we go. So, what are those? I need burning aura pumps. Looks like I need four of them. And then just regular aura nodes. I suppose the cobblestone is there to block stuff. All right. So. Those are expensive. Wow. I think I need about eight of those. I've got that. I've got that. Grab a piece of cobblestone. All right. Where do we want to set up a vortex infusion? I don't know. This place. This seems like a good spot. Right about there. So then we have the vortex pedestals that go in. Oops. Um, that's probably not a good spot to put that. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But we're going to put our pumps here. Okay. And then... I think we want to put this, nope, put it there for now, and that will let me put these in. Okay, and that should kind of set that piece up. Oh, 
Actually, you can just do it that way. Oh, that was kind of not intended, but well, it's got some aura in it. I didn't want it to. Okay, well, let's just break this setup over here. I'll move it somewhere else. So, point of note, that needs to be separated out a bit further. The method, crafting dozens, the most basic setup involves four separate four node setting setups replacing the power node with a vortex pedestal okay hmm all right what am i trying to make now prisms prisms need gems That's not useful. Arcane gems are the second tier made in a vortex infusion. So an arcane white gem. I need a white ingot and a diamond. So I need gems of every color. Okay, let's... Hmm. Let's see if I can figure this thing out. So I'm going to need to set up my processor again. That's fine. Let's make sure it's not in line with that. Okay, so that lost all of my aura when I did it. Fair enough. Let's get some more coal and some of those. Let's put these away for now because I don't need them. I don't think I need those. I don't need that. Um, I don't need that or that. Can get rid of these things for now. So I need three white ingots and a diamond. And if I remember how to do this, I start with the aura. Yep, I put aura in. And I throw something on it. Hmm. I thought I did. No. Oh, come on. Okay, yep, as soon as there was work to do, it consumed the coal there. So, and I think I can put more ore in. Yep, there we go. I don't know, I'll put about that many in. Not sure if that speeds it up at all. Looks like it might be. Well, I can put more ore in. Hmm, power per process. So it has to build power. There we go. Does that have EMC? No, it doesn't. So I need three more of those. Oh, 
Come on. Man. There. All right, I'll be back once that cooks up. Okay, I'm back. I have the white ingots. Actually, I just realized I made one too many. So I have those, and I've prepped what I think is I've prepped it. So I just I put in uh, two white aura shards and dropped a piece of coal on each one of these. So they're counting down. They're just kind of burning power right now is what they're doing. There is a way to stop this. Um, I may set that up later, but for now, I just want to get things cooking. So three on there, four there. Making arcane white gem. Hey, what do you know? So it needs quite a bit of power, but it's going pretty quick. Hmm. That is a uh, kind of a neat mechanic. I like it, don't get me wrong, but I'm not sure I'm in love with it. Anyway, we'll sit here for a second. That's going to take a while to finish. And that was it. That made the item. Oh, it's over there. So that shot it out. Okay. Um, that's one. I need to make eight more of those of different colors. Um, that could take a while. So there's no energy values there. There are gems. Okay, so it will show me the vortex infusion in NEI. But it won't show me the processor. Which... These are just mixing the colors. So there's eight of them here, and I need quite a few of each one. So it looks like I'm going to get particularly good at using the Aura Cascade here real quick, because i got to make a lot of stuff to just even get that one arcane prism. There is going to be a lot to do. Let's see if there's anything else we can grab here. Can be used to grow ores. So let's look at the ore bushes real quick. Ore berry? Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Not sure how I'm supposed to make those. No, there's no recipes for any of these, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, I may have to look that one up a little bit. So, where else can we head to? I mean, other than just making that. So, Cascading Colorer. Okay, this looked like something I probably wanted to get. Synthesizer, Brewer, Colorer. So this is every color of wool plus a shears. Okay, well I think I can, or at least eight colors of wool I should say. I think I can do that. Let's see, I might be part of the way there already. Well, not there anyway. Yeah, I'm halfway there. Um, I've got red. Let's make some yellow. I've got yellow. And we can make purple. These are all dyes that I made for the crystals. Uh, let's go ahead and make orange. And one more. Um, blue. Oh, lapis. There we go. Just make each one of these quick. Some more wool. And then we'll go program these into the tablet and be able to make them. Of 
Grab one of each of these. I already had orange. Man. Okay, so I need one more. Uh, what don't I have? White. I have red. Blue, purple, yellow. Um, do I have any other dyes? Oh, lime. There we go. That'll work. Okay. And a pair of shears. Like that. We'll put one of these around each one. There we go. Cascading. Done. And that gives me 100 sheep. Okay. Fair enough. That got me that one. So how does that work? Oh, got another quest. This cascading color is designed to ensure an easy supply of wool. It will, when given an extremely small amount of power, both replenish the wool and dye them into random colors. Huh, well that's handy. So let's grab a burning aura pump and a node. I've got some coal. Can I make, uh, what was that one? Was it a monitor? Yeah, that monitor I can make pretty easily with redstone. And an aura node. I should probably teach the table how to make that. Uh, some other time. So, we should be able to go over here now, to my farm, where I have a pretty steady supply of sheep. I'm not sure how I'm going to want to do this but maybe I'll just put it right inside. So we'll drop this here. And maybe put that, oops, not there. Put that there. Put the pump. Oh, you know what? I don't have near enough aura nodes. I need a lot more. And maybe it doesn't need to be inside. Maybe I can put it outside. I might do that. Let me grab everything I need, and I will be right back. Okay, I think this should work. I moved it outside, so I've got it right next to my fence here. I think that's as close as I can get it. Hopefully it works, so I'll put a couple of those in. Drop a piece of coal, and watch what happens. So, see, I don't know what its area of influence is. Well, I can, I can take this to the extreme. That's not what I wanted. Oh. It did, huh? He's just randomly changing colors. <laughs> so I still have to shear the sheep, it looks like. That's fine. Um, I don't have a shears. Let me grab one real quick and see if I can... Because it's supposed to regrow their hair. Hair. Wool. Sheep have wool. Not hair. Yes, I know this. Um, I probably need a magnet if I'm going to do this. 
Oh yeah. Wow. That is a uh, pretty solid supply of... So the area of influence is actually pretty small, it looks like, because it's only these guys right up front here that are that are getting uh, affected by it. But holy smokes, I have no shortage of wool right now. Um, whoa, as soon as I sheared him, he... Uh, They are just growing like crazy. All right. Well, I think this is a good wrapping up point. We've done a few things with uh, the Aura Cascade today. We've got we've got uh, some some of the basics set up. I think we're going to uh, probably want to progress further along the lines as time goes on. Uh, I'm getting the sense that I should have probably jumped into this sooner than later, but you know, I got here. Took me a while. Ten episodes. So, um, ten episodes in and I'm finally doing Aura. I'm going to stand here and shear some sheep for a while. And um, next time we'll probably continue with the Aura Cascade. Anyway, I'm Walrig. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye now.